Is America run by five kings? The Supreme Court plays a huge role in shaping social policy and sometimes with very controversial decisions. Founded in 1789, this group of elites is now faced with recent issues such as abortion, health care, and corporations being recognized as humans. All it takes is a five to four majority, as in such cases as Roe v. Wade legalizing abortion and Citizens United establishing corporations with the same rights as people. So should these nine justices, appointed by the President and confirmed by the Senate, make such decisions for over 300 million Americans? Within these nine justices are five conservatives, including Chief Justice John Roberts and four liberal justices. Once approved and confirmed, justices are employed for life and will only leave by retirement, impeachment, or death. It turns out that four justices will be turning 80 years old during the upcoming presidential term. Included in these four justices is liberal Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who has recently been treated for pancreatic cancer. If one of these justices leaves the court during the presidential term, a new justice will be appointed, which could either sway or keep balance the court's perspective on hot-button issues. For instance, if liberal Ruth Ginsburg must step down for health reasons and Romney is elected, he will appoint a new justice with correlating conservative views, making the Supreme Court more conservative than it's been in a very long time. Now, no justice has yet suggested that they will be stepping down. But with the Supreme Court laying down the official law of the land, this is an issue that cannot be ignored with this upcoming election. This is Kylie Smith reporting for WCSU News, Election Connection.